Hi! I've done a lot of these videos on my TikTok and on my Instagram about my nails. Yeah! <laughs> um, I've done a lot of these videos on TikTok and Instagram, but I thought it was time for me to do an in-depth, you know, detailed, better tutorial version of how I do my own nails at home. This is gonna be gel nails but no extensions because i want to let my nails breathe from extensions i just had extensions on and because of anxiety i ripped them off this is my inspo i'm basically gonna mix those two designs together because they're very similar i got my station 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 set up i have love is blind on my tv because i will be watching love is blind while i do this and yeah i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna let the video play first thing we gotta do is get rid of this awful leftover gel polish it looks so bad i can't believe i actually went a few days with my nails looking like this anyways and i use this drill that i got on amazon and i take off the remaining gel polish and i also take off any dead skin excess cuticle anything that grew over my nails i use that bit to take it off it doesn't hurt that bit is really soft and i go with these cuticle nippers and they're very dull and very old but it gets the job done i take off all the excess skin i'm not even gonna lie it's my favorite part then we have to cut these hose down every time i have my natural nails i always like square as square as i can get them then, of course, I got a file just to make sure all the edges are smooth. Again, buffing out with a buffer to make sure the nails are smooth. And this is our progress so far. Checkpoint one complete. If you ever wonder what liquid all these nail artists use, like when they're cleaning the nails or doing anything, it's rubbing alcohol. They're using rubbing alcohol. You're going to use rubbing alcohol a lot when you do your nails. We're going in with base coat. I like to do a very nice layer of base coat because this is going to protect our nails from anything and also just set a smooth base on the nail because sometimes, since it's bad that I do it, but I do rip off my gel extensions, <laughs> which is so bad. Please don't do that. Take them off the right way. But since I do that, my nails do get a little bumpy and lumpy, so I have to use a good thick coat of base coat so that my nails are smooth and the application looks nice and smooth and not bumpy and lumpy. Also, make sure that you clean the gel off of your skin because you do not want to cure that in the UV light while it's all over your skin. It's gonna burn, it's gonna hurt, it's not gonna be nice. That's with any step when you're putting the gel polish on. Checkpoint number two, we're looking clean, we're looking nice. Now we're gonna use the first color of our design and this is one of my go-to colors whenever I'm doing a nude base or I need a natural background color. This is my favorite one. This technique, this is like a Russian technique, I think, but I just put a very thin layer in the beginning and then I put a blob, a little bead of the color on the top and I just dragged it all the way down my nail and this is gonna help create a thicker base. Hopefully you see it better as I play, but this is gonna create a thicker base and it's going to make my nails a bit stronger since my nails are really weak, but I just kind of drag, I just, you know, I put a big blob at the top of my nail and I drag it around, I drag it where it needs it, I kind of just play and feel it out, see where it needs a little more. Listen, I'm not a nail tech, I did not go to school for any of this, I was just able to buy a bunch of supplies on the internet and look at videos on YouTube and TikTok and I learned how to do it only on myself. I don't do this on other people. So if I'm not using the right terms and if I'm not doing the correct thing, anyway, checkpoint number three, hold on, let's pause because you saw how clean they looked. Yeah, okay. Anyways, back to the conversation. I am not a nail tech. So if I am doing things slightly different or slightly incorrect or slightly weird, we're not gonna mention it, okay? Because yeah. What I did right there is that I filed the edges of my nails, so in case I did have a few lumps on the edges for the coat being so thick, I just took that off with a nail file, very easy. Now, time for the design. Uh, we saw the designs I wanted to do in the beginning. This was very hard. It, it looks easy, it looks like I'm doing this very easily, 
But this took me maybe three hours. No, maybe like two hours. The hard part was doing it on my non-dominant hand. That was the part that was that was really putting a toll on me. But it's okay. I had Love is Blind on the background. I was really getting to the T with this girl who thinks she looked like Megan Fox. Guys, I couldn't emphasize or stress this particular tip enough. Every time you're doing a nail design and you do a certain part that you really, really like and that turned out really good, flash cure it and then continue on with the design. I'm using nail glue and I'm putting a little dab of nail glue where I want the rhinestones to go. And this is another tip. If you don't want your rhinestones to fall off, just use nail glue first and then go over all of it with top coat. Bro, they will not move. They won't budge. My crystals, every time I have to put little crystals on my nails, if I do it this way, it will never fall off. And I know that camera quality kind of changed. I had to switch to my iPhone because my actual camera died. I love putting top coat on. It really just makes the entire nail design pop. Anyway, now we're going in with cuticle oil i bought this at target i think or like cvs super cheap and i rub it all into my cuticles and then as a final step just to give myself the salon experience i use whatever moisturizer i found in my house and i moisturize my hands make sure they're soft they look cute and look nice and boom we're done i don't know if i really like the middle and ring finger designs but this was it this is how i do my nails I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this cute short little video of me just showing you how I do my nails. Maybe next time I'll show you how I do it with my nail extensions. And yeah, man, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.